Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 no man left behind scenes in movies. Steve, come on. Steve. I thought you were dead. I thought you were smaller. We will not leave a Doc J and 8 ball out there! Please, Lord. Help me get one more. For this list, we'll be looking at various scenes in which one character or a group of characters makes a selfless sacrifice to save another. What is your personal favorite No Man Left Behind scene? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, The World's End. Serving as the third and final entry in Edgar Wright's Cornetto trilogy, The World's End concerns a group of middle-aged friends reuniting for the first time in decades and attempting a pub crawl in their hometown. It's like deja vu. I don't remember this at all. Has it been refurbished? No one can stand the alcoholic and annoying Gary King, that is, until the ending, when both Andy and Steven put themselves in danger for him. Andy chases after Gary even after Gary gives him the car keys to make an escape, and Steven attempts a rescue in the car by crashing through the hole in the wall. Later, Stephen also propels down into the World's End chamber to be with Andy and Gary. We do not believe you speak for all humanity. You are but two men. Two drunk men. Three drunk men! Stevie man! <laughs> Maybe they do care after all. Number 9, Cloverfield. Written by Drew Goddard and produced by J.J. Abrams, Cloverfield, a popular found footage movie, follows some type of massive creature attacking New York City. Most of the plot concerns a rescue attempt, as protagonist Rob looks to rescue his girlfriend Beth from her apartment at the Time Warner Center. Beth has become trapped in the apartment, and when the characters finally arrive, they discover that she has been impaled on an exposed reinforcing bar. Beth! Oh. Beth! Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh. Luckily, Beth survives, and the group makes their escape in a departing military helicopter. Or try to, at least. The monster has other plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's the shit right there! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Number 8, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. In this film, Peter Quill finally gets to meet his long-lost father, the appropriately named Ego. And who the hell are you? I figured my rugged good looks would make that obvious. My name is Ego. And I'm your dad, Peter. They bond, but it turns out Ego has ulterior motives. He plans to use Quill so he can terraform the universe with planetary extensions of himself. Ego seduces Peter with some type of cosmic vision, and Peter falls into a trance. That is, until Ego reveals that he killed Peter's mother. Both Mantis and Nebula wish to leave Peter behind, but Drax literally embodies the no man left behind trope by declaring, We're family. We leave no one behind. The Guardians decide to rescue Peter from Ego's influence and storm the planet, eventually blowing up Ego's brain and saving both Peter and the universe. He may have been your father, boy, but he wasn't your daddy. Number 7, Captain America, The First Avenger. This movie introduces both Captain America and Cap's best friend, Bucky Barnes. In 1943, Cap learns that Barnes is MIA and infiltrates a Hydra compound to rescue him. It's here that he finds and frees Barnes, and it's here that Barnes proves his dedication to his good friend Steve. Steve, come on. Steve. I thought you were dead. I thought you were smaller. After meeting the Red Skull, Barnes makes his way across a rickety beam before it collapses. Facing a massive drop and a deadly pit of explosions, Cap tells Barnes to go on without him, but Barnes vehemently refuses. Got 
gotta be a rope or something! Just go! Get out of here! No, no, without you! Naturally, Cap figures something out, and the two manage to make their escape. It's quite a touching scene, especially when you consider what comes later. Number six, Forrest Gump. The titular character gets himself into all sorts of interesting predicaments. Not all of them funny, like being deployed to Vietnam. Forrest enlists in the army after graduating college and is sent to Mekong Delta. While there, his patrol is ambushed and the unit is attacked in one of the movie's best and most memorable sequences. <laughs> Forrest shows incredible bravery throughout the attack by running back and saving numerous lives, including Lieutenant Dan, who loses both of his legs. Then it felt like something just jumped up and bit me. Forrest's brave actions earn him the Medal of Honor, and the audience's love and respect. America owes you a debt of gratitude, son. I understand you were wounded. Where were you hit? In the butt talk, sir. Number five, Black Hawk Down. No Man Left Behind is the entire premise of Black Hawk Down. Based on Mark Bowden's non-fiction book, the movie details the tragic Battle of Mogadishu, which took place during the Somali Civil War. Fought between October 3rd and 4th of 1993, some sources estimate that the battle resulted in over 500 deaths, the vast majority among the Somali National Alliance. No, they're shooting at us! The movie concerns the downing of two Black Hawk helicopters and the resulting rescue mission that took place throughout the night. One of the greatest sequences involves two Delta snipers who are placed near the crash site, as these snipers died in the attack and were posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor for their bravery and valor. Number four, Toy Story. At the heart of Toy Story is the rocky relationship between Buzz and Woody. Buzz is the fancy new toy, and Woody feels jealous of the attention that he receives from Andy. As such, he treats Buzz like dirt throughout much of the movie, even accidentally knocking him out of the bedroom window after trying to nudge him under a desk. Buzz! Buzz! However, their dynamic changes forever after they are taken by the mean and cruel Sid. Woody helps bring Buzz back from utter despondency, and he saves him from a rocket launch with a little help from Sid's disfigured toys. We toys can see everything. So play nice. Later, Woody jumps off of the van and saves Buzz yet again after he becomes trapped by a fence. And with that, one of animation's greatest friendships was born. Hey, Buzz! You're flying! This isn't flying, this is falling with style. Number three, The Matrix. Much of The Matrix concerns Neo discovering his potential and becoming the one. And while he doesn't become the one until the very end of the movie, he finally decides to embrace his potential and turns utterly badass by rescuing Morpheus from the agents. Take him. No! Tank considers unplugging Morpheus to prevent him from spilling secrets, but Neo decides to head back in and attempt to rescue. Stop. I don't believe this is happening. Neo, this has to be done. Does it? This results in what is perhaps the most ingenious climax in modern movie history, filled with numerous iconic sequences like guns, lots of guns, the lobby shootout, the minigun attack, Neo dodging bullets, and the subway fight between Neo and Agent Smith. Number two, The Terminator. The climax of The Terminator sees Kyle Reese in rough shape. 
He is shot by the Terminator while throwing pipe bombs, and he is essentially taken out of commission for the rest of the movie. He can barely stand by the time he and Sarah arrive at the factory. After pushing some buttons, Reese collapses in pain and exhaustion, telling Sarah to leave him behind and run. Come on! However, she manages to stand him up with a little strength and some motivational words of encouragement. On your feet, soldier! On your feet! Her use of soldier is important. It's at this point that Sarah takes charge and becomes a fellow soldier alongside Reese, and her character arc into self-sufficient badass is almost complete. You're terminated. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Full Metal Jacket. Animal Mother attempts to save 8-Ball and Doc J from a Viet Cong sniper. Yeah, well, we're not leaving Doc J and 8-Ball out there. Doc J and 8-Ball are wasted. You know that. Bullshit! Come on, you guys. We gotta go bring him back. Backdraft. You go, we go. Let me go, Bull. You go. We go. Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. Chekhov is rescued from the hospital. How's the patient, Doctor? He's gonna make it. He, he came in with a sheet. One little mistake. Hacksaw Ridge. Desmond Doss saves 75 men during the Battle of Okinawa. Please, Lord. Help me get one more. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Saving Private Ryan Much like Black Hawk Down, this entire movie embodies the no-man-left-behind trope. A woman loses three of her four sons during World War II, so George C. Marshall orders a company to retrieve James Ryan and bring him home. Some private in the 101st lost three brothers and he's got a ticket home. How come Newville? Yeah, I think he's up there somewhere, part of all those airborne mist drops. While the concept itself fits the list, the movie also contains many individual scenes that adhere to the no man left behind policy. Tell her that when you found me, I was here and I was with the only brothers that I have left, and there's no way I was gonna desert them. Wounded soldiers are dragged to safety, including Mike Horvath in the climactic battle. James refuses to leave his company and stays to defend the bridge, and Miller's company decides to join the battle so as to remain with James and keep him safe. We'll take it! You fall back! You'll be right behind us! This is worth business! Put simply, there's a lot of bravery on display throughout this magnificent film. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.